And we're live. Hi, everyone. I am Nick. And I'm Maria. And welcome to Full of Brick Season 2, Episode 13. And it's a super duper special edition. Because it's March 20th, 2021. And it's the first day of spring. It is the first day of spring. Yep. And someone is... 43. That's me. That's him. And we get to wear my favorite shirts for Lego. Oh, you like these ones? I, these are my favorite all the time. I, I don't know. It's very cool. I like things with um, writing stuff. Ah, uh, like a... It. But it's, you know, in the shape of like a, a brick head. It's like a mosaic it's with like words. A, but with words. I like words. I think there's just something called like this, like a poem. I think it's like an imagery poem. Mm. If you make a poem in the shape of something. But we had that for the, the marathon. Remember we had a poster, had everyone's names on for the marathon? Yes, in the shape of a man running. Yep. In a, yeah. Right? That's so we said that Harold was supposed to be on this week, but he's visiting his special someone today. And, you know, we don't begrudge them for visiting special someone. Yeah. Hello, Rula. Hey, Rula. Thank you. Oh, the other way. 43. Or 34. Does it say, is it, maybe it's backwards on. I see 43. No, maybe it's backwards for the, for the viewers. Is this my left hand or my right hand? Hey, Abs Bricks. Did you know Abs Bricks is from Toronto? Oh, cool. Stores are open. So this is the thing. Stores are open. Well, you know, still, we've been saying it's like in the what, red zone now. Mm. But this is why I was able to get balloons from Party City. Oh. I'm all about balloons on birthdays. And we have missed a whole lot of birthday balloons this pandemic birthday seasons. I didn't get any balloons for my birthday. Because it wasn't, it wasn't open. Hayden didn't get balloons <laughs> for his birthday. The stores were still closed. So anyhow, we're here splurging, you know, see Pokemon balloon yeah. mm -hmm. and 34, but four oh, plus says three plus seven. Oh, okay. So, so we have it right. Thanks. But yes, he was just trying to make you feel better. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Or you could be four and three. Yep. Um, but yeah, we went yesterday to get some balloons and I got, I was hoping to look uh, for Lego balloons. But you got Pokemon. I did because they didn't have Lego balloons. How could they not have Lego <clears throat> balloons? Maybe Lego. Maybe Lego's not. It's kind of out. It's kind of in out. terms of like you know what kids' demands are. But I did find under the clearance rack, and maybe this is telling that Lego is out. A bunch of Lego Batman party stuff. Oh yeah. So now so our table upstairs table has upstairs is Lego, Lego Batman. Batman, and you know I wish for the I had party. More streamers. What time's the party tonight or today? Uh, surprise. I don't know when we're done. This mm. places don't uh, open until eleven. So what are we having? Uh, Swiss Chalet. So Swiss Chalet is. I a... like Swiss Chalet because when I was four years old, I had my birthday at Swiss Chalet. He was four years old. He, yeah. And I remember that. And he likes chicken. So I think a few years ago, we hadn't been to Swiss Chalet in a long time. A long time. Uh, Abs Bricks. Actually, is Swiss Chalet in the U.S. or is, I no, think it's just Canadian. I think, I think they had St. Hubert's. So Abs Bricks knows what I'm talking yes. about because. But St. Hubert's was American, I believe. Yeah. And so they have that special chicken dip sauce, right? That it's only, you can only get it from like Swiss Chalet or St. Hubert's. But the Swiss Chalet one's better. Okay. I, I like it better. Nice. But a few years ago, I was like, oh, I think it was for my 40th birthday. For my 40th birthday, I said, let's go to Swiss Chalet because on my fourth birthday, I was at Swiss Chalet. So the whole family went and for a sit down at Swiss Chalet. We should really have stuck to it for every single age this decade because, you know, four. Next year has to be definitely oh. a, a dewy dewy. Um, but actually, this whole week, because it's really difficult to get this guy any birthday stuff, I actually got him gladiator cheesesteak oh, yeah. sandwiches every night. It was the gladiator cheesesteak. Um, Called Fearless week. Night. Yeah. But we tried one barbecue one and barbecue that was good. and it was a good pineapples. break. But I, I really was gonna match him every day to have also we didn't we didn't have one sandwich on Friday though yeah because Friday's pizza nights oh and so we had pizza night but yeah it was basically me calling the the place which is down the road and saying another fearless night please and uh, actually one night they put our order in wrong he thought it was because I was mean to the person I didn't want them to spit in my and I thought extra spit might be extra flavoring anyhow they gave us extra cheese fries free yeah. cheese fries for that extended which is, week. Eh, it was okay it was okay they almost like it's almost like yeah 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 we don't really like you <laughs> here's a fridge and a, a, a can of coke we don't drink coke but yeah I think I like their cheese steaks better than their actual burgers it's but their delicious. burgers are good their burgers are good so while he's gonna get an order from Swishley and again the fates you know bestow on us especially coupons in the mail yesterday my mom and i are gonna have gladiators because mm. my mom's like what's that and i'm like just try it because i had i was with her when i ordered i think on thursday 
And she's like, whoa, what is that? And then I was like, we'll just get it. We'll just get it on Thursday. So I'm going to have mine with some red wine. Yummy, yummy. So uh, last Sunday after the stream, the day after the stream, we finally went to Ikea. Oh, yeah. Because we haven't been, we hadn't been to IKEA in, in a long in time ever because again of because of the pandemic closure. and I was surprised that they made us enter through the underground yeah. parking. So their hours open at seven, and I think we left the house around seven. No, uh, they they opened at nine. Nine? Yeah, nine. On I Sunday. was able to sleep in. Yeah, they opened at nine. So nobody really goes out early. Still, on we the got weekends. there like at nine thirty. So I was like, yeah. "Oh, great! We're gonna have to wait in line." Yeah, I thought so too. I was like, yeah. "There's gonna be a long line up outside." I don't know about you, but I actually don't mind waiting in line because it gives me some time to read. But I think that's what—that's why they have it in the underground. So because it's still cold around here, so yeah. people don't have to wait out out line. Yeah. But it reminded me of uh, we did the. Um, well, actually, no, we just went to Disneyland. Yeah. Uh, two summers ago, and we had to go to the underground parking. Yeah, it's like a tunnel first. And it was like this you line up. Their- bus train yeah before their bus train to disneyland yeah. and that that doesn't happen in disney world in disney world you're parked i guess they also have a bus train to bring you straight to the gates right yeah. like you know you park and then it's just so massive that they have to bus train you over to actually the entrance uh then when you then you have to take the monorail if you're in disney world or the the the, the boat over. i think it's because florida is so wide expensive and marshy whereas california it's really small yeah but that was the first time that we i visited disneyland anyway and i i go to disney world almost yearly so i miss disney world oh my god and speaking of disney disney one of our stores here in Square One, oh. which is the largest mall here in, I think, Ontario. Um, it? And it's, it is. Okay. I mean, Yorkdale could be probably the most expensive. How about Eden Center? No, because oh. in terms of square footage, right? Mississauga is more sprawling than Toronto. But the Disney store is closing there. And that's been Junkie. there for almost 30 years. It's been there since I was little. Really? And I love going to the Disney store. So what's going to be there? Maybe know. they're going to open a Lego store. Then that would make five Lego stores in, in the GTA. No, they probably won't open. So I was in a panic mode because I, I didn't even hear of it until we were actually in square one. And we had taken the boys just um, random Wednesday afternoon because we're like, oh, who's going to be in the mall? Nobody was really in the mall. Um, and it's the first time like Hayden's been in the mall in forever, too. So he was paranoid. We've really made a paranoid kid out of him. Huh? Um, he's like, I don't want to get COVID-19. <laughs> so he's like holding my hand. We're all masks. That's fine. And then we see in the sign in front of the Disney store closing Uh-oh. as of March 23rd. So everything was 50% off. There's really nothing much to buy. But You bought him stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Hayden did get another uh, squ- um, stuffy. Another stuffy. It's cute. It was like a T-Rex squeezy. It's almost like an a it's Rex, Rex from Toy Story. T-Rex from, t- yeah, Toy Story. And another Lights, lightsaber. Li- his, how many lightsabers does he have now? He tricked me. But it was 50% off. But he tricked me. He's like, I, I can't find my Darth. Who's that guy? Darth Maul. Darth Maul lightsaber. I'm like, really? Or is it? Um, no, it's the thing with the, the Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren. Darth Saber. So I don't think he's playing with that. But he does sleep with this squishy. Oh. Does it say 43 or 34? It's okay. I'm 43. And I look like 34. I look like I'm 34. Well, I don't <laughs> Do know. I? <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, 54. the Disney store is closing in square one. But they did say that there are two more locations that are still open. And I legit checked it out because I did go to Yorkdale the next day. And lo and behold, I still get my dose of Disney because, you know, you get your doses of Lego. We don't know when we're ever going to go back to Florida. Ever. But they still have the Disney store at Eden Center. I know. But I don't really go to the... Eden Center is so hard to get to. Uh, like to park and it's just... How often do you go to the to the Disney store when you go to Square One? Uh, uh, Not too time. often. Well, at least they pass it and it gives me like a sense of like stability. Like, mm. oh, Disney store. Like, And when I was little, when you were little, because we were like the same little, uh, the Disney store was actually catering more to collectors. Mm. right like i mean yes they had like the cells. toys but yeah so they had i don't know if you guys know but like disney cells are are prints of the actual images or or scenes from a disney movie and they had like a lot of snow globes like i remember being little and going when i grew up i want all those snow globes i didn't get all the snow globes how many snow globes do you have <laughs> i actually only have one left ah one hey lego chad somewhere in the stream here i had children who broke my lego Ooh. snow globes i know so the only one remaining is the Little Mermaid. And I don't even know where to buy snow globes anymore because snow globes are so in the 90s. But I do have a friend, Geraldine. Mm. She had the entire collection as an adult. <laughs> the way 
some adults have the entire collection of Lego. And uh, I had a boyfriend who kept buying me those Disney cells. I married him. Uh, so back to our, our Ikea story. Oh, fine. <laughs> That's so I, where we were. So I wanted to get the shelves for my Ninjago section because uh, I've, I've shown it before. It's just before it was just the shelf and then um, the frames on the top. But we had our pool stools on the, on the bottom. So I and figured stationary area. So I figured if we got rid of the pool, Clutter. the pool stools, we can fit another. Um, store. We can fit another IKEA shelf in there, and so we got another IKEA shelf. I don't know if I can turn this. Turned right there. You can kind of see it. So it actually fit perfectly in that. Whoa. So it's it's the bottom it's the bottom shelf. It's uh, calyx, and so uh, Mason helped me build it. I like the I like these little box shelves. You do, but for I I wish I would have gotten see these ones, the black ones. Oh, these would have been white too. But is there anything that would actually go in the underneath that? No, I'm just saying. You know how we have black ones. Oh, if that if those were white. No, I like it. Oh, if you want these white. Yeah. Oh, I know because it would make the room feel bigger. And it would match. Yeah. Because the reason why we got these ones black was to match. Uh, me i always wear me. black oh. the black one on the bottom oh because originally this was this it was all like um dvds and so we yeah. had uh i think there were benno shelves okay. the dvds for the benno shelves you know your shelf names yeah but these were calyx so well, white makes it more like fun but yes I, that's okay white that's makes okay. it it's pop, almost like i think it's it almost pops like more. just in the corner anyway that we have black so yeah it's yeah. nice but like yeah. the white pops it more it makes it feel like it's like, I think so um so the Ikea yeah we actually took our time walking around Ikea but I didn't get all my mileage in Ikea it's so huge she's Ikea. been trying to get 10 kilometers 10 steps oh se yeah. yeah 10 steps a day and it was actually much better last week running every day and this week not so much and even the mm. run yesterday was really poor but I did it so Lego Chad wants to know what do you guys think of Deadpool is this a secret question that everybody asks what is it the Deadpool minifigure or Deadpool the movie he's funny I like the Deadpool movie. I don't yeah. think I watched What's part two though. The actor? Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, he's he's Canadian. He's funny. Um, but we have the minifigure. I heard the minifigure is not that expensive anymore. I like the chicky. The ducky momo. Yes. <laughs> it's it wasn't supposed to be ducky momo. It was supposed yeah. to be the the chick from the Cloud Cuckoo Land. Yeah. If you look at some pictures, they had a chick there. So in addition to the shelves from IKEA. Oh, I also got these um, clear containers. They're really containers. And you were like, they're only a dollar. And I'm like, let's go get them at the dollar store. But these are only a dollar. What we didn't know was the lid was the, an extra the lid, dollar. The, the lid, lid was, was a dollar. dollar. And the case itself, where are they? They're under the pool table. The case is... I used it to elevate some of them. Some yeah, so he was just really using it to elevate. I don't know where the lid's going to come into play. It rests on. Did I get something fun? Oh, I got the boys a hammer. No, you got um for your kitchen those organizers. That was from Winners. So yeah, it became like a full day, full I morning. You got it at... No, we went to Winners after IKEA. Oh. We went to Winners, which is like Marshalls, but Winners is like Marshalls, and then there's a Home Sense attached to it, which has what's it called, like house stuff. So I wanted to always get like these levelers or shelving. Mm -hmm. into our shelves so that I can see all my glassware or bottles of wine. So I was able to organize my insane collection of Starbucks mugs. Ah. So they're now all in just one area. Yeah, she collects, nobody I, I collect Lego, she collects Starbucks mugs. Starbucks mugs. From different cities. Countries, cities. Cities and, around And the even world. friends who go and visit different places, they, they, they got drilled in their head. Maria is crazy. She wants a Starbucks mug. I'm like, yeah. Mm. So even if I don't see some of these places, uh, I have a piece of it in my kitchen, unused. And then I have backups that we use. Um, and then we went to Winners uh, to get that. And I think I want some more because I feel like I have other shelves that are... But this is leading me into spring cleaning, right? You open like a, a cabinet and you're like, Thank oh, you. it's so dirty inside or it's, it's just dusty. So, and someone's been dusting like a robot. Right? Not this week. Oh, that's not exciting. I thought you were dusting. Um, so we did that last last week weekend. I was oh, last weekend, the, all that. Ikea? Outing, yeah, last Sunday. And then I what's was, that? I, stop. And then I've been off. <laughs> I've been off since Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. She's been off because this week was the original March break. Yeah. for the kids, and I usually book it off. And we're usually in Florida at this time of the year. We are not. We're in our basement still. 
Um, and last year, actually, we were supposed to be in Florida, and that was the beginning of our COVID COVIDness. Uh, and uh, so, you know, it's so easy to get busy when I have days off and just welcome, welcome. And when just making it to uh, lots of errands, dentist appointments, driving my mom around to her appointments. Um, and what did we do on the? We did something on that Wednesday. Oh, that's when we walked around Square One. Yes, on Wednesday. And and Hayden was okay. So as we were like talking about Lego and stuff, I thought that you know I had to be the, the grown up, and we're looking for our new doors. Door. Our front door. We haven't changed it since we moved, but our what color is our front door? Red, red. right? Okay. Our storm door is actually done. Like the wind blew it, and it's just off its hinges, and uh, yeah, that would be good. But uh, we didn't. Uh, get a new door before, so I think is this now, store called My Door? The brand is called My Door. We're gonna get oh. it through Home Depot. Okay, but I gotta go back to them again because I keep on telling them, do not use my home phone number, use my cell phone number. So they changed it yesterday, but I just got the confirmation email saying someone will call you at home number. So maybe people in the chat can help us decide. So what are what are the what are the choices? This isn't the choice that we actually want. This is more fancy. But if we're gonna go fancy, and I don't really want fancy, but maybe I do. I was thinking of this door is that too ornate is that too put it ornate? in front of here is that too ornate the middle door it has all these wrought iron in it and so our door right now is just solid solid uh wood with a panel at the top to let some light in but that area of our house is actually very dark how thick are these uh glass and they're thick enough i mean if somebody really wants to break it you can't I'm sure see they can smash you can't see through no because you can choose the type of glass you want in terms of opaqueness right what was so, the one you were showing me yesterday that the boys like? I have tried. So these are all the different, like, if you want, like, elaborate, frilly. Iron. Iron rot, right? So there's medieval, but what I like was at Brella. But this is just one one um, brand called My Door. And another Thanks, one Justin. is Jewel something. Anyways, we're still deciding because we do need a new door and a new storm door because we like fresh air in our house. But even the storm doors, unfortunately, they make... They make the main door ugly. That's the problem. So that's why mm. I'd rather just go simpler. But we, we need a storm door because when we open the door up, then I know you get the fresh air and stuff and light. See, he doesn't. He doesn't like it. <laughs> if we can get like stained glass window with like Lego, that would be amazing, right? But I mean, who knows? We can't. The thing about houses is we've been here forever in our marriage life, but you can't get too attached to a house. Mm. Ultimately, it's a place of shelter. So many people like spruce up their house. As long as my house is tidied and. I mean, that last year we painted it and got some bathrooms done and also the the patio backyard last summer. Someone did that full on, you know, we have all the tools to Rula do says glass doors won't work at her place. Oh, where's her place? I don't know. I forgot. Rula, where do you live that glass doors won't? Anyways, we do have some neighbors with a glass door, but I feel like I need to not really be too attached to a glass door. I'm going to show you the door that I want. Oh. The boys and I. So while she's going off, I'm going to show you guys what I got at the Lego store. Oh, wait. I don't really like glass doors with glass, maybe a bit of glass, but not that. Yeah. Right now, our door is just fully closed. No glass at all. But so I went to the Lego store on Thursday and I got. Can you just video me? Uh, yeah. Yes, you can. I got the Winnie the Pooh set. What? And it's sold out now. It's sold out online, but I'm not sure, but at our Lego store. So um, I got there. The Lego what? store opens at 11. So I got there around 10, yeah. 1030. And I was third in line. But there were, I don't know, maybe a good 15 people behind me. Oh. So it was a long, it was a long lineup. Um, yeah. So I, I, got, I went in and they already had a bunch of these behind the counter, mm -hmm. but I wanted to get it from the shelf. So I, I got on uh, off the shelf, even though they're like, oh, we have some behind the counter. Um, and then I was still looking around the store. I was looking at the pick a brick wall, but then I couldn't get anything because yeah, there, everything was, is... there was a long lineup and nobody oh, could help me. Okay. So they're like, oh, we got to take all these people first before we can help oh. you. So I just, okay, don't worry. I'll just walk around the store some more. Dangerous. And then I even asked the person at the front of the store who was regulating the line. I'm like, can you help me get the pick up? And they're like, uh, no, I, got I, have to, I have to manage the yes. line. What so, was the limit for Lego store? Uh, I can't remember now, but they only let in maybe, I'm guessing maybe they let in like six or something like that. Cause there was still a, like a long lineup, but the store 
was, hey, brother from another brick. I but, didn't even see this. It's almost like my birthday present. I really like the treehouse. Is this going to be like bookshelf worthy? Although he looks weird, Winnie the Pooh, huh? So like the other, Maria is actually the bigger Winnie the Pooh fan. Hello, a Disney store. But like, look at his head, his minifigure head. He looks weird. The other characters look perfect. What do you think? You're not showing them. You're oh, just showing sure. yourself. <laughs> they don't even know what you're talking about. Winnie the Pooh himself. He uh, looks a little. Maria was telling me the other day. She sometimes different. when we do these live streams, she forgets <laughs> that there's even people watching. And so it's I really just... just think I talk to him. <laughs> See, I'm an only child. And when, this is really more than enough of like talking to somebody all week long. Especially when Harold's here. <laughs> then she's just chatting with Harold. She forgets that people are even there watching. And so... It's not that I forget. I really just, you know... Oh, so you did get your pick-a-brick. So I got a couple of pick-a-bricks. So the reason why I want to get pick-a-bricks... Oh, that's so cute. They have this, this little honey... This little honey hive... Honey hive over there with little honey bees on a honey pot. You mean it's a honey hive, a hive, a hive for bees. Oh, okay. Oh, with I a, see it on the top with a clear brick with with a honey bees printed on it. That's cute. And they have a little box called acoustics. Anyways, I can't wait that, until you build this, and then it gets to be in my bookstore. Nicoletta likes the red T-shirt of the bear. Of the bear, wait, it shows his tummy. Yes, very, very. So the reason really why I wanted these pick a brick cups was for the small cup. He doesn't even want the brick, guys. I want the brick too. Because it's really the cup. Because I wanted really to... if we probably go to like home sense, we could probably find no, something. No, but this cup is the exact height I need for my mocks. So I figured out because I've been making the I'll show you guys later, but I've been making these um video habitats. And so I have six right now. And I noticed that um, if I have the cups, um, if I have the cups this way like this, so one mock will be on the front. On the front. Yep. Flat. Other one will be on top of here, and then the other one the will third. be top of so here. So we have layers. And it in works. Our it works perfect. I'll, sh I'll show you guys later, but it it works perfect. That um, the height works perfect. Okay. But I wanted these colors just because a lot of the video colors are like a pink and very azure. Like 80s. Very... And they didn't have, they usually have tiles that I want, but they didn't really have yeah. tiles at the label store. So, yeah. Anyways, let's do some birthday gift opening. Oh, like real? Like real. You guys get to see it live because our children, they don't really care. What type of habitats? You'll see. I'll show you when we start showing mocks and Lego. But Maria wants me to open, open stuff. Open presents because, you know. It's fun. So this is like real presents, not just Lego presents. Yeah, real presents. Okay, so on his 43rd birthday. Do I have to read the mushy? Uh... No, but you can show the fun card. That's a fun card. Is it because I like hamburgers and, and fries fry? and hot dogs? I don't really eat tacos, though. I do. And donuts. Oh, well, sometimes. Okay. I, I, every time I open a card, I'm like. I know. <laughs> I don't know why, but because there's... the wife never does that. Maybe moms and dads and elderly. Nice. Okay. So this isn't Lego stuff, but it could be. Maybe it was really presents for me. So we got <laughs> this some is big. extra large chocolate bars because I like. You know that the boys are going to eat this even before. What if I hug it? Even before I get my hands on these. And then I like. What you don't know what these are, but they are the best, best, coziest are, socks. So these are chapters. Do they, do they have chapters. these at um Barnes and Noble? I don't know, maybe, but they're called reading socks. And I was never into reading socks until I think I got my first pair last fall. And I just love them. Every time but they're these huge. Things, socks. They're huge and they're so cozy. And when I'm home, I just live in these kinds of socks. So these are the men's version. And there's look many, how, many different kinds of look print. How big this. But they go all the way up to my thigh, really. Look but there's some are. that's cute. I actually have some on. And what I actually wear are the kids' sizes, age nine to twelve, because they fit me better than the women's sizes. And I have like the raccoon and the puppy and the kitty and the rabbit. Thank you. So oh, and these are funner. And so Nick always gives me t-shirts on my birthday. I don't know why. So <laughs> I thought you would get your what? own t-shirts for your birthday. Do I have to wear these on the stream now? Yeah, you should. So this what does is it say? 
free words of wisdom from Yoda. And everything is like a bunch of the things that he says. Oh, what does he say? A lot. He says, May the force be with you. May the yeah, force yeah. be with you. Do us. or do not. There is no try. Let's see if we, we can see here. So it says, May the force be with you. Do or do not. There is no try. So I think among our friends, especially Size matters when. Not. I don't, I can't do the Yoda voice though. Size matters not. That's Smeagol. <laughs> That's from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> try or try not. You must feel the force around you. Fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Ang oh, yeah, I know that one. Always in motion is the future. I don't I haven't heard that one. I know. Mind so, is why you have. Where'd you get this shirt? A uh, secret. So among his friends uh, in university, they called him the Yoda. Hey, it's Kevin. Hi. Thanks. And can you open the chocolate? Uh, to eat it for breakfast? Yeah, because we're grown-ups. I would love breakfast birthday chocolate. That's exactly why I wanted to become an adult. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I tell my kids too. When you're a grown-up, you can eat whatever you want, and I won't know. It doesn't matter. I do it. I actually have to still buy cake. We still don't know what to do for cake. I mean, definitely Swiss Chalet. Nick's not really into birthday cake is what he says, but really he's into birthday cake but is what he says. Mason but for some reason... Mason it. Only eats, um... <laughs> Like my nice folding. Yeah. I you, fold you like. You should see this guy's closet. It's ridiculous. Who is it? Mar the, um, Marie Kondo. Marie Kondo. Yeah. He folds it. Marie like Kondo her. taught me how to fold. His closet is beautiful. My closet is not as beautiful. It tried. He tried to make it beautiful. <laughs> Kevin is going to try gummy bears. For Whoa! Breakfast. I love being a grown up. Isn't it great? Um, another shirt is. Oh. You're like so burned. Master, oh, you got me a Lego shirt. I know. Right? Where'd you get this? I'm secret. Master builder. I can wear this. Um, for I know the, when you're for the next when you're building. <laughs> Does it say anything else? Um, I just have brick tie. I wish they put oh, it kind of a bit better. From oh Atlas. No, it's from a place called Sh Spread Shirt. It's called Spread Shirt. Spread Shirt. And they just basically you just basically pick up a. A print, and then they print it for you. But I was hoping that the shirts were softer. They're really okay. And then I was tempted to buy all these book print shirts and sweatshirts from them, but I didn't because New Year's resolution, don't buy extra clothes this year. It's really hard. But if somebody else buys me clothes, I'm okay for that. Right, Nick? My mom's right. buying me clothes. <laughs> Last one. Oh, three shirts. I know, because you have three kids. Oh, you got the classic Spaceman. That's nice. Did you know that this was a classic Spaceman shirt? Did I know? From the Lego movie? It's because you wanted a jersey with it and you couldn't get it. And so I found it. Cool. Yay. That's more Lego shirts. I hope, I hope they fit, you know, because 43 is a different sizing. Than... I don't have as many Lego shirts as Brick size. And I also have another gift that was last minute and so not planned. Oh, yeah. Kevin's going to like this one. Uh, I don't even give you Lego gifts. I don't. I really don't because you just always buy yourself Lego gifts. Oh, I really geez. don't do Lego gifts. No, we didn't win the lotto. Are you ready? Da, 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 da. That's upside down. Okay, I can't, I can't hold it. <laughs> Monkey kid. So I Whoa. went to Sherwin yesterday with my mom. And I went to the store and I'm like, oh, maybe I should get a Lego set for Nick because I never <laughs> get a Lego set Kevin, for Nick. Kevin's like, ooh, could it be? <laughs> Kevin's built this. Oh, and so when Nick went there a few times, he said it was never there. That's why he got the mech instead. And I remember him saying he wants this set because it has so many minifigures. And there was another set that had many minifigures, but they were like a repeat of the same minifigure. I like the monkeys. You like the monkeys. So, I mean, I know you guys have been telling me that Monkey Kid is a Lego exclusive set line like ninjago but i didn't really understand that until i was at the lego store so anyways this wasn't on the shelves either but uh you know when i go to lego i look like a very serious parent buying a lego for somebody <laughs> <laughs> i'm like well oh you can wonder... detach you can detach the i wonder if i can bunny. find more of those easter bunny things you're like oh no we're sold out of those easter bunny minifig triplets i'm like really I we're thought just you said there's four of them there were four of them i didn't buy them and then I'm like, well, I was really looking for the monkey kid with the lots and lots of minifigs. Is this all you have? Well, we actually have a couple more large sets in the back. Do you now? Can I please see them? 
And so they brought oh, so this that's one out. How it happened. Yeah. And that's how so you ask. When I went there, they didn't have it. Sometimes you just have to ask and say, hey, what's in your back? Because I know you have some secret stuff. Actually, they said the set actually came that morning. So uh, sometimes things work out for a reason. Johnny G likes the monkey I spider. Like, I like, I think my favorite, oh, spider. you know, my favorite minifigure is not here. The mini, the, oh, the, you like the, the big one. The pig. No. Oh, you like the big fig. Yeah, the big the fig. The blue big fig. Yeah. With the He's he's in a couple of sets, but I didn't get those sets because uh, he's in the HQ. I have to figure out what our points are now so that we can buy the other sets online. So I want to put this. It's if, not even gonna fit anywhere. If you, I don't but know I, if you guys know Candace Wonderland, but there's. It's like a Hanna Barbera land. I want to no. put it. See the, the. What do they call it? See the um, amusement park. At the very yeah. end, there's hopefully at the very end, see where that frame is? I can fit this mountain where that frame is. I can move, I'll move that Elsa's castle. And then hopefully I can fit this mountain there. I'm not sure how big this mountain is, but if not, then. Like Chad says, it's his birthday in 15 days. Well, uh, I hope you get your dream set too. But thank you. I do like the waterfall mountain. I think it's one of the uh, more creative. Unique sets out there, and I'm sure you're gonna tile up the other untiled oh, things. Oh, and so oh, when I went, no, I'm not done yet. I got freebies for the so this is for the Winnie the Pooh. Oh yeah. Oh, is right <laughs> on my video. What shy shy time is my time was like, is your um bunny is it dented on the bottom? It is. It is dented on the bottom. And so when I went to the Lego store, I also got some freebies. Boom. You got the same as me. Boom, they're all mine now. So really we're only supposed to get the carrot. But if you spend but they over have extra if you spend these. over 130, you get boom, boom, and boom. Maybe, maybe we need to give these as gifts. I'm How many of this a, do you have? I'm gonna use the pieces. Because when you open them up, you'll have multiples of the same pieces, and then that's even better that for mocks. Because then you'll have it's like going to the pick a brick wall, but you'll have like a bunch of these tiles and a bunch of that's why I like getting multiples because it's free and it's free Lego. I'll build one, and then I'll have all the other ones. For what did my the receipt say? They, they actually note how much these sets cost. Hey, because I guess everything has to have a price. Hey, so, one brick at a time. The Amelia Earhart, technically in uh, Lego Lego cost pricing, is twenty six ninety nine. Oh, really? So this is twenty six ninety nine. The Easter Bunny. I never knew it had the price. I never right looked here. at my receipt. He never looks at receipts, people. <laughs> <laughs> this is the adult I live with. I How in much the were the groceries? I don't know, but there's food. This the, the list of food you want. I'm like, I didn't want that sausage. Anyhow, the Easter Bunny house, carrot house, is $16.99. 16, really? I would think it would be this like 10 bucks. It's $4.99. Yeah, that makes sense. $16.99 because it's uh it has a box that says limited edition. Anything with limited editions are super, super, super. 232 pieces. Yeah. Yeah. So lots of toys for the birthday boy. I'm just looking at the orange. How many notes. of these do you have that you actually know you have? Can't even count. Seven. I'm going to keep them. And I'm going to give it to my friend, Harold. They give them a price in case you return the set you bought without the promo. Oh. So what does that mean? They're not gonna. They're not going to reimburse the full amount of that set. I was gonna do oh, that. Oh, is that what? Oh, I was gonna do that. I was like, I'm gonna return this fountain waterfall that. thing when you're not looking, and then just keep the freebies. That makes sense because otherwise, that's called stealing people. Not good. Can I show what I built this week? What are we done with the frivolities of show birthdaying? I'm gonna show you guys what I built this week. Uh, I can't show my boring door, huh? That's done. <laughs> Anyways, you know we're getting a door, and the door that we chose is much more boring than the, the door I showed you. Uh, sure. He was busy being creative. Wait, not that yet. Okay. So I built on. this monkey kid set. I saw this um, mech. A mech. I saw this on I'm Bored Toys' live stream. He had thank this, you, Kevin, and he had the demon bull, and they were fighting. So I have this on um behind my ninjago city guarding it so i think it's a good color scheme but it's nice it has like it's a whole... very bling with the uh, extra skirt like the foil skirts and stuff like that yeah. the the traditional samurai wear because 
I don't think I have it cropped up. Oh, properly. it's big, big feet. Wow, that's pretty yeah. fun. It needs to um focus, focus. It's not focusing. <laughs> I said thank you, Kevin, and he's like, LOL, no problem. LOL, love of Lego. Okay, so these are the habitats that I've been working on. Yes, he's been busy being creative in a different manner. So the first one is a, a concert. Oh, I, maybe we should, I forgot to bring our video. I will show it after because we got video too. We opened video. We did? The video minifigures. Oh, we did. Last. But these, these, the are the, these are the backup people. No, no. These are the video minifigures. I know, but they're not the actual singers. So like, it's show, not, it's not the llama. Is it the llama? No. But this, we, I haven't showed these yet. What? Oh, yeah, I know. it. I know that already. I know, but we... <laughs> so I'll show these first. These are the ones that I haven't made habitats yet. Th this is why we're into Lego, for real. Look how messy our area is there. Which, which area? The couch. That's because I was working. Hmm. Okay. So... So each minifig comes with like three tiles that are probably like le records and we didn't really know how to display them. So we assumed, I assumed that that's how you display them. But this I do love the Banshee. She has great hair. Bellatrix with strange hair. Yeah. And, you know, gassy bottom. So some are singers, some are dancers. And some are tambourine players. So these two are singers. Then two microphones. I think he's a, he's a drummer. A drummer. Yeah. The werewolf. The wolf. And their tiles are good. It's almost like I want a tile collection. I want to find a plate and just make a plate of tile. Kevin did a tile. So. Oh, I want to see that. And then I'm not sure what I have to check what he is again. He's a singer because but is he like a samurai? Maybe he's a rapper. Yeah, he's a samurai. Okay. I don't, yeah. And then um, Cheetah. Cheetah. I can't remember. Maybe she just dances because he's just a dance. But he just his singer. thing is just a record player. Oh. So maybe he's a DJ. DJ. I was going to say that. I also have to make a DJ booth. Right? Oh, no. And, and then, then a tambourine player. But it's a donut. Uh, it's a donut. No, oh, it's a tambourine. It's a tambourine. And this is a genie. So last night, you know, I, I go to bed late because I was editing an English assignment. And there's Nick going, oh, I wonder how I'm going to do the the habitat for the tambourine, the, the genie. I'm like, are you talking in your sleep again? He's like, no, I, I don't know what to do. Because I was going to make a lamp. <laughs> I want to do a lamp or a magic carpet, but I, I was I'm like, make it like Aladdin. and he tends to, to talk in his sleep. So I just, <laughs> I'm going to go finish reading my book here because, you know. Okay. So this is the. Yeah. It's called the Samurai Wrapper. <laughs> so this is the first one I made. Um, this little dick in the back. I was trying to make a shark, but then I ran oh. out of. I ran out of these. Um, Maybe a, a teal. Teal piece. Maybe you make the S not so fat. That's not an S. Oh, I thought it was S for shark. No, it's supposed to be the shark's face. I'm gonna look shifty eye right now. So this is supposed eye. to be like the this part. Yeah. And then this was supposed to be like the, but then I I just put two. That was supposed to be like the. the it didn't turn out to be a shark's face. but Because it looks like a, a fire-breathing dragon. It's like a design now. I thought it was an S. And then we have like the speakers. This is like a mosh pit. Mosh pit. Look at that. And then... Um, Man, those shark like armies. A, like a design on the bottom. It's cool. So that's the first one. And then the second one is of the um, saxophone. Ice cream man. Ice cream saxophone. Sunday. Sunday saxophonist. So I was trying to make a mural on the back. Um, An ice cream, but it, ice cream. I feel like it needs to be higher, less black on the top, and I don't know how I can make that. Yeah, but like lift it. It's nice. I think I'll just keep it how how it is. It's just like a background thing. So if someone kind of uses their imagination, they'll see ice cream. It's use your imagination, because Lego helps you to use your imagination. But um, it's a cool jazz bar. I found this video of a piano. So it was a black one. So I just made it white. And then uh, same with the drums. It was like a black drum. So I just made it like blue and white. I wish I had this piece in white. Oh, but yeah. I couldn't find it. So I only had it in gray. That's okay. Um, um, and look at the front. The front has uh, these ice creams on, on, a, on a date. So they're on a date. These Sweet date. Do you know which one's the boy, which one's the girl? No. don't Let's not be colorists like That's that. Supposed to be the boy. No, nope, you're not supposed to be colorists like that. And this is Anyone can wear whatever color they want. Boy. Okay. So next one is the exerciser. Very Jane Fonda. And so I was trying to go for like a 1980s 
So I was looking on pictures on Google image and I found like these designs. What is that? It's supposed to be just laser designs. So um, again, okay. it's a pink. Background. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. And uh, on the video, on the picture, it was like red. And so I just, I just kind of tried to copy the picture. Good job. Go form. And so they're all doing the same pose. Because it's a step class. Okay, the next one is the red panda. I thought it was a fox. What did the fox say? No, I it's a red it was panda. An orange fox because it doesn't look red to me. But this is a break dancer. Yeah. And, so, and you have like parkourists. No, they're just break dancing. Oh. So I tried to get panda on the back. Pen on wall. the back. Um, the P. I think the P and the D look good. I couldn't really do an A. The A's are good. I was gonna say the A's good. The N's okay. I like the P and the D the most. Okay. Of my of my letters. Um, that's supposed to be like glass. Shards. Here. That's dangerous. Shards of glass. Uh, that's just supposed to be like a ramp. Okay. And um, just Not, piled up the. You can. Someone can hide there. The inside. Yeah. It's more for just uh, depth. Whoops. It's more just for depth perception. Okay, the next one here is the cotton candy cheerleader. So I made this football. Um, I just made it pink and pink and white. Right. Does it look like a football? I thought it was cotton candy, but yeah, I see the football. Yeah, this is supposed to be like the laces. And what I was going here for here was like a um, cheerleading competition. Until they, they dance until they're zombies. <laughs> it sounds very uh, dire. So I, made like a, I made a blue mat here. So it's like a cheerleading competition. And then I made like a red mat for the red team. And, and then, then the people who outlast them are zombies. The white and green. Poor. And it's amazing all the different minifigs that Legos come up with over the years. And I don't know if she won. Maybe she won because she's in the middle. Okay. And then the last one here is um, alien. The alien guitarist. guitarist. And so I made this spaceship. I was trying to. I was trying to play around with like that studs not on top thing because I never really did that before. And I was going to make the spaceship like on a planet, but then um, I thought of the idea. But of in terms of the height. Using uh, Bionicle. I just wanted to use Bionicle somehow. So I was going to use Bionicle as like the texture of the planet. But then it was getting too big for this 16 by 16 base plate. And so I just ended up making a hanger. And so this is just a hanger. I got a couple aliens to join this alien. I tried to find aliens with orange on them. Yeah. Um, that's just supposed to be like a, a speaker. Yeah. And um, yeah, so that's that's the hanger. And so what I was talking about earlier, this is how the setup with the, with the pick a brick cups because they work perfectly. I'll show you what I mean. So if you put this one here, and then this guy, yeah, good, good layering here. See how it fits? It fits nicely. Yeah. And then if you grab this one, I feel like you need an assistant. No, you're okay. You got this. You handle this. Here, it works. So that's why I wanted to get the other two more pick a brick cups, and so they fit. So that's how I'm gonna display it. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have them all here, and then there's another six here, and then the beat boxes will go there. And that's that's the plan. Okay, you can take me off the big screen. Was that fun? Yeah. You, were you putting anything on the big screen? No. Oh. Let's see what it, what people have to say. Uh, so Kevin says the sa Samu Rapper. Samu Rapper. Johnny G was saying. I know it's really hard with those boxes. Um, they really can't have us feel the minifigs right off the bat. So we ended up just getting it. Yes. Two, pan two red pandas. And he still wants three figs. But we don't have the regular main singers. And how many are those? Six. Six. 
We might have them, but they're not opened yet. We might have them. Um, Will you have enough? So if you have six, six, you'll have three windows, three slots. Yeah. And then what are you but what I'm thinking slots? actually is moving them over there what? so we can see them better and moving that I, over there. But are you sure you want that? Because then, oh, I guess. Because I want it eye level because it's yeah. hard to see the top one because because you have to kind of that's really, true and it, it'll be brighter from uh, Wally's looking at us like what you're gonna put me on the side where you won't even see me yeah I was wow. thinking of moving just so they know what I'm talking about those items so you see the birds Marty McFly the birds Wally and the Flintstones Ghostbusters just moving those down there <gasps> because I see have, how there's all this extra room can on I top? have the ship in the glass. No, I like that. That's the face of when I say, oh, no, I like that. <laughs> um, the V looks like a shark face, just pixelate, pixelated, pixel, uh, pixelated effect. Stop showing the figs. I want to cry. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, he likes the, mm -hmm. the, the panda font. I know some oh, yeah, the, the alien one's new. I just made that last night. Some of the minifigs are very, I mean, interesting. I mean, Lego is really, you know, being as creative as they can, trying to come up with all these different minifigs that hey, BR. we continue to collect. Whose birthday is it? Mine. Not no, mine. It's, oh, it's, the, it's, our birthday number. It's the last day of right. Piscus, and we're both Piscuses. I don't know if we should have even been Piscuses together. But um, first day of spring, too, and, yep. Birthday celebrations with freebie sets for the birthday boy. High shift. Um, so is it that time? I don't know. Is, is it, it that time for some so. news that we can use? Let's uh, show. I got to pull up the brick uh, fan. I had it up, but then I had to reboot mm, the computer. The I know. Fan. We were having some technical difficulties. Yeah, we didn't morning, start exactly at 830. But we want to keep it real. Keeping and, it real. Uh, you know, these are the limitations of... Okay, iPad. share screen. Oops. Oh, on board says him and his wife are Pisces too. It is fun, isn't it? Because <laughs> <laughs> remember, it was Kevin's birthday a, a couple right. Tuesdays ago. Yes. When's your wife's birthday? We're not going to be able to see the answer because we're sharing screen. Lego Star Wars minifigure madness. <gasps> Kicks, what is this? Kicks off. I'm not going to lie. This is actually making me excited. There's brackets. It's probably just like voting which minifigure is better than the oh, other. Oh, so we already have it all really. It's not extra, extra. It's not like you're getting another extra, extra Darth Vader in a Let's different see. extra Darth March, Vader suit. March Madness has kicked off. Oh, basketball. All right. And then, so they're doing their own version. I think. 32 characters think from Star Wars it'll be movies. against Darth Vader and Yoda. And you have to cast your vote for your favorite. Okay. What happens if you click on the link? Let's do it. You get a virus. My mommy says happy birthday. I know. Oh, okay. Stop it. Let's go back. Okay. Oh. Ah! <laughs> I closed the. Oh, Kevin's wife's birthday is the day before his. That makes it for a uh, better party. Partying. That's because sure when I turn an age, then it goes around saying that he's married to an older woman. For uh, 22 days. Yes. Because we're this, we're both, we're born in the same year. Okay. Uh, are we sharing screen? Yeah, we are. If we're sharing screen, can they see us still? Yeah, they see us in the little. Oh, I didn't even know box. that. So I have to like not even make weird faces. Yeah, you have to make proper faces. Okay, so Lego Harry Potter <laughs> summer <laughs> summer rumored sets. <laughs> so I think we talked about this early before in another one, but yes. it was like rumored, rumored. So I guess since Alan the Brick fan is saying it, they're um it's legit. It's, like there's no way can be unlegit if Alan the Brick fan says it. So there's gonna be girl toilet, aka moaning myrtle. I always wanted one of those. We have a moaning myrtle minifigure from the collectible minifigures. So exactly what kind of a girl's toilet is this gonna look like? Remains to be seen. It'll probably be with the fountain. <laughs> but it's almost like you want the ogre. Remember how the, or the troll, the troll that comes smashing through it? Yeah. Then that would be a very cool moaning myrtle. Was bathroom. moaning myrtle in the very first Harry Potter? Movie or uh, second, second one? with second. the with the book because she was um affected by the oh, diary oh yeah yeah 
Hogwarts extension. And what does that mean? Like a castle extension? Like another think, wing? Another yeah, bridge? Yeah, I think we can just add, not the UCS one, but the top one. Just add another section ah. to it. But I think they're also going to come out with, oh, this one's cool. Hogsmeade. Though. I am excited. I'm surprised by the price point. Oh, wait, we're pieces. in poundage or euros. Never mind. I'm not surprised by them. Why well, you thought this was cheaper or more expensive? I thought it was dollar. <laughs> oh. I didn't see that. I'm like, oh, I could buy it. Advent calendar. So I don't even know what to do with advent calendars. Our kids really weren't that keen last year. Hayden, who should love advent calendars, he was really more into the chocolate advent calendar we got than the, oh, I got to build this. It'll just be for me then. Legoland California, reopening <gasps> April Fool's Day. Oh my gosh. So you know what I heard about the Disney World? Disney World is open, of course. Harold Sun, remember, was there last weekend or however. Apparently when you're on rides, you can't scream. Oh. What does that mean? Because you're going to like release air although i mean everybody has to be screened already going in i would think they won't know they won't know because i if could it's like a roller coaster well yeah uh, you're 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 gonna take photos <laughs> <laughs> you open your mouth you get kicked out of the park <laughs> but yes uh legoland california i guess you opening. have to wear masks when you're on the rides i think i don't know it's weird because it's all outdoors right yeah anyways we won't find out because you know we're in canada so it's officially opening April 15th mm. with COVID restrictions to a lower tier. Moving to a lower tier. Moving to a lower tier. Huh. Okay. Well, happy for you people who can go to Legoland. There's a lot of rides there, I guess. Like roller coasters. Uh, I haven't been to the Legoland one. I mean, the um, oh, California one. Winnie the Pooh temporarily sold out. You know it. I heard it sold out in hours online. But you even went. Oh, here. Less sites. than 12 hours. Wow. There's a lot of Winnie the Pooh fans out there yeah i mean i can't wait for those henny hives and even like the little sign that says 100 acre woods yeah so cute is that a sticker and um i don't know yeah it looks like a sticker but they'll probably if you do have a lego brand store they'll probably be at the lego brand store because mm. they had a lot there um i'm excited about this are you and i have a spot now it for looks it. scary because really? when i move the ninjago out there's a big empty shelf now in the in the laundry room. As long as it's dusted. Yeah. It's you know my Tower of Orthanc? Yes. It's underneath there. There's an empty Can I have the Tower of Orthanc? No. <laughs> um so the gunship and they they had dimensions. I was reading this. Uh 55 50 to 55 centimeters. How big is that? Uh, no. Yeah, like this. Oh, that's not that big. It's not that big. <laughs> Well, because, well, okay, well, no, there's a hundred, a, a meter stick is here. Okay. So, yeah. Because that, that seems like the size of the old gunship. This is supposed to be a UCS gun, gunship. This is how I sell it to Nick. It's not that big. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointing. It's not, it's not that big. This is 55 cm. Yep. I know. I wasn't challenged. Is that the, what, that's what she said? I think thing? it's like this, 55. Um, It was also said that. Jedi Bob will not be included in the set. There's a Jedi Bob. I don't know Jedi Bob. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's coming out. I'm I'm guessing this might come out May the fourth. Maybe. May if the they, 4th. It has horns on this plane. No, that that closes. No horns. Oh, they're not really horns. Okay. It looks. Do you remember we got this the regular one at Barnes and Noble? Yeah. Many many. I know. We got it at the same time we got the <gasps> when, sail barge. When we talk about like going to Barnes and Noble across the border just to look for Lego that could be on sale and, and Tarjay, it makes me so And I think that was before before I started the, the YouTube channel. We got it. Yeah. Okay. What? Uh, and that's just teasing you because we're going backwards. So no, it's still not available on Lego. It was available on March 17th. Yeah. So let's scroll up. Let's scroll up. Let's scroll up before people are like, what? It's available? No, it's not. But it has 1,265 pieces. What? That's... <laughs> How much was it in Canada? It was like one hundred one thirty nine. One thirty nine. So it's it that's 40, expensive. Maybe it's one twenty nine because one thirty nine means it'll be one point four exchange rate. That can't be right. If only someone kept their receipts. Yeah, what's up with that? I actually like this box. I kind of feel sad that we actually. A lot of people the don't like the black boxes. Really, I love the black box. It makes it so grown up. This I love these kinds of uh, illustrations of Winnie the Pooh. It's more like the classic Pooh, but no, this is actually the Disney's Pooh. You know, I actually haven't watched a Disney Pooh movie, like the actual... She says the only promo that is eligible with purchase is the Easter Bunny, unfortunately, for those who are also trying to get the Miller Earhart. 
Oh, it's no longer available. But still available here in in the stores. Canada. Well, not in Canada. In, in the, Toronto. Just in the stores. Oh, okay, fine. So, oh, Lego Winnie the Pooh art prints available on Reward Center. No, I can't wait. No, I'm okay. I'm okay for prints. You're not interested in stuff like this. Not interested in stuff like that. Hayden actually won some Star Wars poster from school. I think. Look how many a points? Two hundred fifty points. We want the points. Is for that seventy five dollars? Seven dollars and fifty cents. Oh, I got it. Got it. I'm pretty sure. But yes, maybe we can like get points and get the piggy, the piggy um, monkey kid. I really like that. That set, the piggy set. Yeah. Did you see it with a truck with a pig on top and it it shoots bullets? Yes, I showed it to you. That I, that was when I was. You're like you weren't about. excited before, but when I saw it live in person, I'm like, oh, this is a cool set. What are these? <laughs> Uh, Bricklink Designer Program. Meet the projects in the Bricklink Designer Program. Oh. Uh, 31 that are currently in pre-production phase potentially become Bricklink Designer Program sets. What does that mean, Bricklink Designer Program sets? Maybe you can like download the instructions and right. piece, get the pieces for these sets. Oh. That's interesting. It's a train station. You're not into trains. No, I'm. Just, it just looks nice. Yeah. Um, like this is like a calendar mm -hmm. with different um, seasons. Mm. Maybe you put it on top. Mm. If it's like fall right. or Valentine's Day, right. your birthday. That's cute, but yeah. I like the budgie. Yeah. Or so nice. what's a couple? The couple. Yeah. Iconic flightless nocturnal. I don't know if I like the green. I love the green. What do you mean you don't like the green? That's such a great avocado green. The 1950s diner. Yeah, I don't know. I like the fries. And burgers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at these. So we got the castle. We're, we're, the we're teasing ourselves for things that may not even come. No, this isn't. This is Bricklink. Oh. This is. These won't be like sets you can get at the Lego store. Okay. Winter chalet. It's okay. Um, working waterfall. And a working waterfall. Working waterfall. <laughs> Oh, Legends of... Oh, I think this was one of the Lego Ideas um, entrance. Oh, and now it's in Bricklink. Yeah. The Great Fishing Boat reminds me of... Um, Brick West Gump. Studios. Airplanes. It's a lot here. Oh, that's Ooh, a cool... What's that ruined house? I was looking at the Lego store. Oh, I love the ruined house. It's like a modular... Ver I see it's the like clocks. a scary haunted house. This that is I something love. from the, the Walking Dead. I would put that in my library. <laughs> from the Walking Dead? <laughs> Lego Observatory. Oh, <gasps> Exploratorium. I would love an Exploratorium. That's fancy. That's fancy. That would be a lots and lots and lots of pieces. Oh, a clockwork. Uh, mm, it's okay. Aquarium. I don't go to aquariums much. I don't know about you, but every time I go, I get hungry for seafood. It's oh, really it's not safe. good. Oh, that's interesting. That's something that would. Who is that? Yeah, from Nathan, Body Works. Nathan Sagai, Sagawa. Sagawa. Nathan Sagawa. If he, you don't know him, he's a really amazing Lego brick artist. And I have seen his exhibits in Philadelphia and he's been in California. I don't think he ever made it to Toronto, but he basically plays with Lego. Temple of builds. Hermits. Hermit. Sounds like Boathouse Diner. There's a lot here. I know we can Japanese. We can have a whole show just looking. Yeah, at this. I know. Um, Phoenician. Alan House. the Brick fan. What are you doing? Showing everything all in one go. That's the thirty-one that he showed, right? Because in his blurb up there, he's like, "Here are the thirty-one." Yeah. Oh, I know that already. I know that already. <laughs> okay. And so. See, says there's the first. Oh, where did I see thirty-one? It was at the top. Thirty-one projects, right there. Kicking it off, kicking it off, and art. Oh, I feel like we're like in a loop now. Release delay loop. March 16. What was last week? Oh. Uh, Lego accepting back orders for the Spring Lantern Festival. It is a pretty set. March 16. Because I think this was sold out for a while. Oh, I heard about this. <gasps> Toy no. Toys R Us is making another comeback in the U.S. Well, good stuff, U.S. Toys R Us. It looks like U.S. will be making another comeback. CNBC is reporting that WHP Global has acquired True Kids. Well, you know, everybody misses Toys R Us. And so they have pop-up Toys R Us right now in Texas and in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it actually says here that um, Alan, the brick fan, used to work at Toys R Us back in the day. Uh, there are still many Toys R Us stores around the world, which still have Lego exclusive mainly in Asian countries. That's cool. Oh, look at this. 
Lego Marvel superhero rumored sets, summer sets. I don't know. So these are all the different shows from Disney coming Plus up, that we are missing out on. They're they're coming out. Oh, actually, I no, haven't I haven't these, watched the Winter Soldier. These aren't the new ones. These are old ones. Yeah. But I think I Am Groot is new, and Loki's new. It's but, all of it. Some huge summer 2021 Lego sets. Marvel rumors coming oh, so out. So we showed this before. Bricks. The Carnage. Yes, yes. And Venom. Yes. So these are coming. And I have spots for them over there. Um, Tell them about the spots. Shang. Chi. Shang Chi and the Legends of the Ring. Do you know who's Ch Yes, uh, Shang I know. He's the guy from, um, don't tell me, convenience store. Doctor Strange. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. The he's convenience the guy from the convenience store. What do you mean he's Dr. Strange? What do you mean he's Dr. Strange? Oh, no, Dr. I, Strange is Dr. Strange. I was mistaken. He's I Shang thought he was the chubby guy from Dr. No. Strange. No. <laughs> Shang-Chi is like, and that's why. And he's from Toronto too, I believe. He's no. from uh, Kim's Convenience. Yeah, Kim's Convenience. And they're already at their last season. They're not re-, re um, Oh, really? Yeah. So we I have to finish. That. I think we finished up to season three or four. Something like that. The movie is slated to be released July 9th oh. this year. Oh. What is happening? We don't even know if movie theaters are going to be a so thing. So they're small sets. So probably just for the minifigures. Oh, okay. Okay. Avengers the Infinity Saga. What? So we have a Black Panther set. Oh. Small pieces, 249. Yeah. Captain America versus It's just the Avengers Hydra. Endgame Final Battle at uh I mean you have to multiply these by two. Oh, wait, it says continue. These things are all uh Euros, right? So you always have to multiply them by two. But I'm just looking at the piece count. Is uh, small. I'm just looking at the cost count. <laughs> Sanctuary. Oh, this one's this one that I heard is a good one. The Benatar. What is a Benatar? The Benatar is like the Milano, but it's orange. Benatar. Ben I, I don't know if this will show. B E N E Tar. No, it's B E N E Tar. You just oh, spell it. I spelled Bentar. Yeah. Benatar ship. What? So it looks like oh. that. It's like an orange yes. Milano. I know now. You right. know. I think I'm not sure if we got the Benatar before. See, there's an orange one, but mm. the Benatar. I heard it's supposed to be. It's big, almost two thousand pieces. Yeah, and um, they're forecasting uh, over there. You missed it. What? One division or Falcon sets. Nothing is known much, but they have number sets. And I don't know how Alan the Brook fan gets this information, but uh, he has his connection connected. Uh, Spider Man No Way Home. Wow, so many. So seventy three. 355 and one. So I guess that's the big one. This one again will probably be for the minifigures. The Eternals. I don't know this comic. Me neither. The Eternals. Deviant ambush. But they have one big one. Rise of the Damo. 1,000 pieces. Oh, that's probably this. Rise of the Damo. Yeah, not fun. It looks like it's rising. Yeah. That's interesting. Maybe. Um. Yeah, I think that's it. That's it. For this section, oh. not for news that you can use. <laughs> um, Lego Ninjago, the Ooh. Island Lloyd and the Jungle Dragon clip. Lego's released the new clip. Oh, it's just like a, uh, like a video clip. So if you guys want to see it, go to Alan the Brick Fan. You can press play. Um, oh, this is the dragon. Iceberg built this. Yeah, it's okay. He has it already? Yeah, he built it. He showed oh. it. Um, Lego wooden elephant toy. What? Mm, hmm. I think it's just a picture. <laughs> Lego ideas violin. I'm okay with her grand piano. That's nice. No. It looks like a real violin. And then you're going to say, you can have this in your bookshelf. It'll look really good beside the grand piano. I have other stuff beside the grand piano, like my dead orchid. Wasn't Tristan into violins at some point? Uh, he wanted to learn and we're like, no. Uh, this is the Easter Bunny house. Did we show this last week? I think week? so. Mm -hmm. I think we're... Mm, look at that. I think lunch is calling. I don't think we showed this. So this is one of the beatboxes. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm going to incorporate the actual box What are you going to do with that? But I want to somehow incorporate the I actual... I don't know, but I want to. Ooh, look at that. How they make the little tiles... Because it would be cool if I can somehow incorporate that piece. I wish someone mock. was making us bacon, our children. Oh, that's the face. Huh. Oh. I think the hair is cool. It's yeah. like uh, blocky. Uh, Easter promotion. Lego Rebuild, the wor World Episode 2. Wait, Billy Porter. I don't know that show. Huh. 
I don't remember what the last thing was that we did last week. We'll see it when we see it. Um, Walmart sale of the train. We haven't seen it last week. No. So uh, extended. extended. Maybe this one is what we saw. Uh, we'll see. And cause... that bunny again. And oh, I feel like we saw this because we're asking uh, Harold, do you have Super Mario? Yeah, we saw that. Oh, okay. And Harry was like, ooh, space. And I'm like, mm. <laughs> did we and, see that? Yeah, we did. Oh, and yeah, I'm like, I, I'm like I like the TV. Okay. Yeah, okay. We're good, a good, a good, a good. Okay. So let's put us back. So look, oh, we went over the time. <laughs> So next week. Where is the time here? Up here. It's 105. Oh. It's a special one. I can't next week. Go. I don't know if I'm on call next week. So next week, uh, we might have our partner in crime back in action. I mean, if I'm on call, you can just have Harold. And uh, around the same time, sat I'm liking the Saturday 8.30 time. Yeah. So thanks for joining us. Let me go through the chat. Thank you to I'm Bored Toys, a.k.a. Kevin, for joining us. Um, Justin. Oh, I missed some of these. I know, because it says new comments. Okay, let's just take a look at these comments before we go. Um, the last one was my wife and I are both Pisces. Yeah, where is that? Oh, that's a long time ago. No, that can't be a long time ago. <laughs> no, no, you're done. Where's the... I got three bandits. Down, down. You already yesterday. read that. Down, 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 down. You already oh. saw that. Oh. Uh, happy birthday. Oh, here. <clears throat> serial file. Oh, I checked out Serial Files channel, and she does a whole channel on different serials, which is oh, which is cool. Yum. Check out Serial File. Makes happy birthday. Get some cereal right now. Uh, Brick Revolution. Maybe yes. we'll do the May the Fourth promo based talking about on that, the winner. Uh, horned spaceship. Oh no! Based on the the promo for oh. May the Fourth, um, you know how they sometimes yes. have giveaway. Um, Alanis. Alan's links. You gotta click on the click on the other links. Oh, the links are bad. Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, Kevin oh. says she's a year <laughs> older and a day older than me. I have a big troll fig. Yeah, oh, that's the one you want. Do we have the troll? We do, right? No, it's, he's blue. Oh. We only have one monkey kid set, and it's that one. It didn't come. No, out. but he's talking about the troll big from Harry Potter. Oh, uh, we do. We, we do. do. Yeah, we do. Um, by Nicoletta. And yes, Star Wars and Harry Potter. And people are just saying bye to Nicoletta. Uh, black boxes. So Kevin does like the black boxes oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. you, mm -hmm. but the black instructions are terrible. Oh. Have you ever looked at the black instructions? They're hard they're, sometimes. They're black, the background is black, right? Yeah, so black on black. All the architecture sets have black it looks so, backgrounds. They look so classy. It just makes me want to buy them. Uh, you turn the pig's butt to shoot the nose. <laughs> yep. Yes. Some of the old Brickling sets will be crowdfunded to be actual sets for people that pre-order only. Mm. So that's how that's how it works. I see, I see. Um, I watched an episode of two of the Kim's Convenience. Yeah. Thought it was funny, and they never kept going for some reason. And, and I don't know why. I, I'm not Korean by background, but the dad there reminds me of my dad. <laughs> <laughs> and he should get Netflix again. We actually haven't finished it either. We went, we, we go through binges and we're like, oh, this is so good. And we'd like watch it because it's like only 20 minutes long. But for some reason, we haven't gone back because somebody told me that I have to watch other things. BFAB says, all we need is Harold to get better internet. Right? <laughs> and May the 4th promos is supposed to be Tatooine Homestead, I think. Oh. Okay. All right. So, uh, so let me go through the chat. Thanks for BFAB for dropping by and Justin. Justin. And Kevin. Kevin from I'm Bored Toys, Nicoletta. Can you pronounce the last name? Uh, Lazar Lazarevich. 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 Uh, Lego Chad. Cereal, Sorry if we said that incorrectly. Serial file. Uh, Brick Revolution. <laughs> Brick Revolutions. Uh, Shift 67889. Johnny G from the Asian Pacific. And. Oh, one brick at a time. That's mm, a cool name. I haven't, I haven't cool heard that name. one before. 
Um, and I think that is we didn't oh, get Kangski. Oh yes, that's my Pokemon Kangski, friend. Yes, and Rula and, and Abs, Felix. Yes, Felix. And Abs Absbricks, the Canadian. We didn't get to eat chocolate in front of you guys because okay. I feel like Nick doesn't want me to eat on the pool table. Hmm. <laughs> so thanks for dropping by, everyone, and we'll see you guys next week. Maybe this will be built. Maybe I'll build that soon. Bye Maybe for now. Maybe it'll be my book. Ciao.